Hello guys and welcome back to the Isle of Wight. I hope you're all well and you've had a good week. Looking forward to the weekend as we always are. We are actually up to episode 30 now of the series and um, it kind of blew me away a little bit. I kind of lost track of how far into this series we have got but we have come a really really long way since starting this project and it has been really really fun to do I must say. We've really battled some very unique and different builds throughout this project and rest assured there is still plenty more to come so stick around for more. So what did we work on last week? So last time round we worked on completing the detail side of things on this beachfront and boy did it come out well. This looks so much better than I first intended. It really, really does pop. I'm really, really pleased. And again, as always, thank you all very much for your very kind messages on the comment section. Really do appreciate that. I really, really do. And for those of you who don't comment but you like the video or you've subscribed recently, a big shout out to you. Really, really do appreciate that. So let's have a look at some of these comments from last week. Andrew says, great build as normal. Hope you will keep building up until the fudge and rock shop. Now I will try my best to do so, but I'm not sure how this will fit together in the end. Um, but we'll certainly look at that. And also the comment about the island's downside, certainly something I want to look into. So if you've got a certain reference point of what's good to look at, let me know in the comment section. Now Sunny says, I wonder if this series has increased the tourism to the Isle of Wight. I want to go there now. Well, love the fact you want to go there because it is a very nice place and I would highly recommend it. Whether this series has been the telling point for that for other people, who knows? Let me know in the comment section below. Rob said, nice bit of detailing. Was just looking at Google Maps. Do you think you'll be adding the cliff lift? Well, Rob, it seems like you have read the script because today's episode, episode 30, is going to be all about the cliff lift and the higher tier buildings, the hotels, etc. So let's get into it. Let's start building. So there were many things we had to do before we started working on this particular area. First of all, the terrain itself wasn't so level as you can see here. We having to raise quite a lot up and use some of the artificial network um, terrain lines uh, to, to really try and force the, the ground to do what we want it to do. These hotels in particular, we're running against a road that's higher up than the bottom side of the road. So unfortunately it meant that the terrain left really ugly looking gaps which made the buildings just look unnatural and in the wrong position so we've had to be a little bit clever here in terms of our placement and using the network um, terraforming tool and props etc to really try and force the ground to do what we want to do this very much remind me of the the project of Mo uh, project monaco where we had to really play around with the, the the actual terrain itself and make it do things it shouldn't really be doing in the default version of the game. So that was interesting. Um, it becomes a bit of a battle. You'll see as the video goes on and this time lapse goes on, there were points where it was becoming a bit of a nuisance and I almost considered pretty much just flattening out this whole bit of land and trying to get it all as a level plane. But again, that would have ruined things in my opinion because it's not like that and we want to show off these beautiful height different tiers um, certainly when you're looking from the sort of seafront upwards that's going to create such an amazing view that I didn't want to skip that so as we go along I'll talk about some of the techniques that I learned along the way to make that work but before we get too far into this video Let's skip back to my comments and questions to you guys last week, which was in terms of the transportation and do you want to see an episode of me trying to get a transportation link of buses and trains etc working and yeah as you can see from the comments everyone wants to see that so we'll definitely look at doing so. Um, I think the first transportation stroke um, project we'll work on will be the uh, train station at Shanklin so we're gonna really make that look and feel good so that's gonna be coming up in a future episode. Beyond that there's a lot of projects that I have already built so we're gonna be talking sort of three four maybe five episodes time where we're gonna really get into that but that's a good thing because you can tell me what you want to see in terms of a video and a build around that. So do you just purely want to see me laying down some transportation 
sort of bus routes? Do you want to see certain things being built? Let me know in the comment section how I can please, <laughs> please you all in that respect. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I did actually last episode put down a single <laughs> bus route, um, which you would have seen going around. I'm not too sure what bus or buses to be using for the island. So if there is a particular one on the workshop, please, please do link the Steam um, workshop link down in the comment section and let me know because I will change it in an instant. I just not, I just don't know which buses from the workshop are most relevant to the island. Um, so yeah, please help me on that front because I do not have a clue if I'm being honest. I've never noticed the uh, buses going around and what type they are. And I've also really been trying to push the amount of people and cars around this part of the island it does take a bit of time for them all to establish their location um, if i'm being honest a lot of this um these last five or six episodes i built in a constant flow of a sort of a month period um, so i haven't really let the game run its simulation a lot other than obviously when i am trying to force a cinematic view or something but what I will probably try to do at a later stage, once we completed the whole of this Shanklin area, is purely just run the simulation for a couple of hours, let everything settle down, and then we'll do a sort of a, a recap video of this whole area when it's thriving, because it does, trust me, I've played the game, I've loaded it up recently, um, obviously I'm talking in the future here in terms of what you're seeing versus what is actually being built so far and things are starting to shape up and they are starting to get busy and it does feel like a seafront um, area so and if anyone's got a comment in the future about the lack of vehicles and people walking around it's only a stalemate for now don't worry it will become um, more dramatic as time goes on so yes just a little heads up so back into the build, as I mentioned earlier, there is this issue with the terrain height. It wouldn't normally be a huge issue other than the fact that we are using a theme that includes white chalk cliffs, which you can't hide so easily. <laughs> um, so I was working on a few techniques of doing this and we've been using some of these cliff tops that we used at the, uh, well, the previous few videos on the seafront. Been clipping these in and then adding some decals around to kind of make it look a bit more like it's natural and it should be there, um, which I think works quite nicely. Um, it was either that or we'd have had to spend the whole time sort of adding in some terraforming to try and hide that away. And it just was a little bit more difficult to do in that respect. So this was the best way to hide it up. So next we are now going to start working on the cliff face lift. So this is quite an old lift um, which had been put down to basically allow people to easily and quickly get from the top tier down to the seafront because obviously it's quite difficult to get down. There are a number of rolling um, sort of footpaths and staircases etc. Well, obviously up the other end you've got the slope that you can walk down but they introduced this lift to make things a little bit easier and yeah it clearly does save your legs if you don't want to walk down the long flight of stairs and whatnot so i wanted to try and recreate this but i wanted to try and recreate it in the sense of it would be functional so people would actually look to be using this lift um, and it does obviously function properly um, within the game's mechanics but the place that i'm putting it it wouldn't work as i wanted to so all I'm really doing here is I'm using a pavement um, and just really fooling the mechanics of the game here by lowering it right down to the ground. And basically then I'll turn that into an invisible path and people will just walk as they would do a normal path, but it'll obviously have a very steep incline or decline as the case may be, right down to the bottom floor. So when you're looking at the build, it will look like someone's gone into the main front gone down the stair lift and then out to the front so that was the idea on that and um, it was quite hard to build a lift because there's not really lifts that look like the one at the Isle of Wight um, this I mean looks a little bit too clean and modern for what it actually does look like I'll ping a picture of the actual lift on the screen now for you to have a look but I think the fact that it actually works and people will walk down it just adds to that whole feeling of it being 
of workable lift that just makes it feel and look so much nicer. For those of you who have been following the channel for quite some time, you'll know that recently we have been looking at the opportunity to allow you guys to build something for the series. Now I decided on a farmhouse because it's a relatively small build and quite easy for me to deploy on the island and well I wanted to get you guys involved in the series a little bit more so if you are interested in building something like this check out the description details below on how you can do so. This week we have a submission from Rob Cities. Now Rob Cities design is again a fantastic build. Really love the use of the decals here. Again, the puddles are there. We love these puddles, we really do. And I love the fact that it's just a small, quirky little build. There's nothing too big about it, but it covers everything that we could possibly want from a farmhouse. Not only do we have a beautiful array of the buildings, which I believe are by the most famous Rick 4000, these look and feel so good. The tractor with its trailer on there, the fact that the buildings are just built and placed in a good position here, it just feels real, it feels alive, it really does do the job. So a huge thank you there to Rob with his fantastic submission to the island. So back into the build, this is kind of the stage of the build where it's a little bit mundane, we're just going to be placing down some buildings here, so not a huge amount to excite you with, but obviously we need to do this, um, and you'll see it does again become tedious. Using these beautiful houses from Mac Welshman, it does mean that there are some difficulties with placing them down. The good thing about these is they're already detailed. They've got the gardens, they've got their fences around it, and it means it makes life a lot easier for me when it comes to placing these buildings down. I must say I'm not too much of a fan of placing down buildings now. <laughs> um, I find it more exciting to be detailing stuff um, and creating new and interesting designs rather than placing blocks after blocks of houses. So I try and find my well I've been trying to find the best way around this um, to make it look interesting but not take much time up because I, there's a lot more interesting things I think I can show you guys than just placing down houses. So to try and battle some of that as you can see here we're trying to make the terrain a lot more manageable um, to deal with on those house fronts and we'll come back to those in another episode. But as you can see on the screen now, we are detailing, when I say detailing, we're only doing a bit of minor detailing here on the hotels themselves. So we're just going to add a few little swimming pools, uh, a few deck chairs, etc. Just to make it feel and look more like a hotel and not just an apartment block or just a, a building randomly placed down. So we wanted to give it a little bit of character, make it feel and look a bit more hotel-like. Um, and these Monaco walls or any walls to be fair, the network based rules work so well when you're trying to create these sort of looks because it kind of hides the fact that there shouldn't really be land on this part. So using the combination of these walls and the combination of the, the decals and the plopable asphalt etc really does help hide and make things look a bit more realistic. Which leads me on to another interesting topic. We have obviously been running the uh, farmhouse build for a little while now. We are slowly running out of um, builds to put down. So firstly, if you are interested, as I said earlier, please do submit anything you build that's a farmhouse related build so we can get those down on the island. But also, I'd be keen to see other things you've been building that you think would suit the island. 
particularly hotels. Hotels and maybe more UK traditional sort of mansion-y sort of houses, bungalow builds, anything like that that you have already built, do let me know. Jump in the Discord, ping your um, Move It files over to me and I will more than happily have a look at them and see if they would fit nicely on the island. The thing with the hotels is, as I said, there's not really any UK looking hotels. A lot of them are kind of bigger buildings that have been converted into hotels. The only hotels on the workshop that are UK based are more of the commercial hotels rather than a seafront hotel. So we are kind of lacking in terms of builds like that. But if you particularly want to give it a go, build yourself a little hotel, uh, revamp a building to look like a hotel, anything like that, just jump into Discord and let me know. Following on nicely from that, Jim.com also asked, are you going to be showing the farmland detailing around the guest farm house builds or where you've put them on the island? Now, I can do that, that's not a problem at all. I've been trying to kind of create the whole showing off of these farmhouses into a more smaller secluded area because I haven't actually detailed the farmlands around it. But we can certainly look at that in the future. But also, Jim mentioned, are we ever going to be using any of the other village competition builds from the last build competition back in the summer? And the answer to that is yes. I'm going to do what I can to place down some of these parts and these segments as best I can. Obviously, it's not going to be ideal because of the terrain issues that we've got. People didn't really build to, well, they did build to a certain um, terrain degree, whereas I'm gonna have to try and change that and mix it up a bit here. But yes, it, the short answer to that is I am gonna try and implement as much as I can into the island because you're right, those builds were really incredible. It's really difficult back then to um, pick a winner. And talking of that, if you guys want to have a similar thing this year for a little competition, hit me up in the comment section below. And that pretty much brings us to the end of this episode. As you can see, recently we've just been working on some of the detailing parts of this hotel um, sort of main tier, I guess. This is the hotel, as you imagine, to be quite expensive because you get some beautiful views looking over the, uh, the cliffs out to sea. And you'll see some of those demonstrated in the cinematics coming up very shortly as well. So all in all, I think this has been a successful build. It's not been as exciting, I must admit. Um, I've really been enjoying the high detail levels and creating very different unique things at the seafront, but it all will come together nicely. And each little build we do tells a story of how this area is. So that is the plan. Next week, we're gonna be working on a similar area, but a little treat for you as well. So keep in mind for that. If you aren't already guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you do not want to miss an episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And of course, I'm always happy to hear your thoughts, comments and feelings on the series so far. So please take advantage and hit the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Other than that guys, hope you all have a very good weekend and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching and all the best.